was saying, he was at that moment. But he is not only uttering, he was living that situation. Allah assuredly didn't waste anyone, didn't neglect anyone like this man who believed in him and uh, uh, lived his affair to him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inna Allah yudafi'u anil ladhina amanu, inna lanansuru rusulana wal ladhina amanu fil hayat al dunya, he says. Indeed, we will save and indeed we will uh, guard our uh, messengers and those who believed uh, in uh, us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا In the worldly life. Let's move on to the ayah number 46. النَّارُ يُعْرَضُونَ عَلَيْهَا غُدُوًا وَعَشِيًّا the end of the ayah 45 was وَحَاقَ بِآلِ فِرَعَوْنَ سُؤُ الْعَذَابِ The evil torment encompassed Pharaoh's people. And uh, it refers to drowning in the sea. Then being transferred to hellfire. At the first hand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala drowned, make them drowned in the sea the Pharaoh's people, this was their end. And then, the fire. They are exposed to the fire. Morning and evening. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't say, and when on the day when the hour will be established, we would understand that wudu and wa'ashiyah, morning and evening, will happen in the hereafter. No, but when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after morning and evening, wa taqum as-sa'a, then on the day when the hour will be established, we understand that morning and evening happens in this life. Our morning and our evening. Because these are before the Day of Judgment. So they are exposed to the fire before the Day of Resurrection. It means that they feel intense pain uh, and torture before the Day of Resurrection. So uh, many scholars of Islam understood from this ayah that there can be torture, there can be torment in the grave before the hellfire. There can be torment before the, before the day of resurrection because the Pharaoh's family, they are exposed to the fire morning and evening and when the day on the day of uh, when, this, when the hour will be established, it will be said to the angels, "Adkhilu ala Firaun ashad al adab." Admit, admit, admit Firaun's people into the sweer, sweerest torment. So they are just before the day of resurrection, just before the hour they are exposed to the torment, uh, to the hellfire or the fire and nar yu'aduna alayha ghudu wa nu'ashya, morning and evening. Still there, is many, uh, there are many questions to say that this, these are happening in the graves. We are not sure, but we are sure that it happens before the day of resurrection. It happens in the graves or it happens in somewhere else uh, which we do not know. There can be places we do not know. It, uh, it doesn't, it shouldn't, it's not necessarily to be in the graves according to this ayah. But there are uh, many hadith, many hadiths 
Prophet وسلم, talks about the torment of the grave. Uh, so uh, that hadith makes us think that these people exposed to the fire morning and evening in their graves and and Allah knows the best the important thing here for us it's not whether it is in the grave or somewhere else these people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala torture them before their resurrection so there can be torture before their resurrection at the end when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resurrects them he will torture them everlastingly in, in his hellfire. So it's in, uh, the important lesson for us from Fir'aun and his people that they waste the ayat, the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, starting with Joseph alayhi salatu wasalam. They denied him. And then Moses sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And between them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with by any means, made his ayat, his evidences, clear for them, but they wasted them. And here and now at the end, the important lesson from this story, we should learn that if we waste the truth and if we waste the ayat, the signs of our Creator and if we do not acknowledge them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause us to enter these kind of torment whether in the graves at the beginning and then in hellfire ending with hellfire so Let's focus on uh, on uh, the lesson in and the message of this story, and not uh, at the detail which is not clear in the ayah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is not saying they are in their graves, and they are they are uh, being tortured in their graves. The grave is not mentioned in the ayah, but we can understand. We are, or we draw uh, that mm, mm, knowledge, and uh, uh, with some of the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when we uh, gathered them all, it can be understood that some people, some evil people, can be tortured in their graves by uh, the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the day of resurrection this uh, is clear from the ayah النَّارُ يُعْرَضُونَ عَلَيْهَا غُدُوًا وَعَشِيًّا the hellfire they are exposed to it يُعْرَضُونَ عَلَيْهَا and there is uh, an important detail in the ayah that he says يُعْرَضُونَ عَلَيْهَا not entering the hellfire but exposed to the hellfire, ard presentation. Maybe they are seeing it from a distance and seeing how an evil torment awaits them in hellfire. And this is also some kind of torture for them. And there is hadith, Prophet ﷺ says that when you die or when someone die, the angels show him his place in paradise if he was one of uh, the dwellers of paradise if he was one of the believers and they say to him this is your place and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he resurrect you when the hour will be established and day of resurrection Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you will reach that place and he sees that place and this is kind of pleasure for him and the opposite happens for the evil one he sees the torment in hellfire and the place prepared for him over there and the angels says 
are saying to him by the way of rebuke and humiliation, humiliation, this is your state and you will go there when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resurrect you on the day of resurrection. And they seize their place morning and evening uh, in their graves or uh, in the place where they are in reality. And when and on the day when the hour will be established, admit Ala Firaun, the Firaun's people into the severest torment, Ashad al Adab. This was the end, the Firaun and his people, those who denied the truth, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about them, Kabura Maqtana in Dallahi, Wind the Ladina Amanu Aladina Afwan Kedal Kayudilullahum and Hua Musrifum or Murtab, those whom are wasteful and those who produce doubt in order to refuse the truth, and uh, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about them Kabura Maqtan and the Lahi Wind the Ladina Amanu if you ask me why they entered the hellfire I, I will answer you with the ayah number 35 those who struggled with the ayat with the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala بغير sultan without any argument without any proof they only wanted to refuse it it's greatly hateful in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those people who dispute about the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to refuse them and reject them. Although they are aware about the truth, like Fir'aun and his people, when they persisted on denying the truth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sealed up their heart because of their uh, arrogance and because of their refuse, because of they were used, they used to refuse the truth and they ended up with the hellfire because of their choice in their life. ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا واخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته